So I think an interesting follow on from that is that given what you said that the ghost is primary and the machine is secondary, I think an implication of your theory is that technologically, the kind of the sky's the limit when it comes to humans would be able to perform what we would consider miracles, right? If you understand the kind of operation of these yeah. things and, are, and we can master our user interface. Absolutely, and that that is a Pandora's box. Um, you know, what, 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 what I'm saying is space-time is just our headset. There is this whole realm of conscious agents that we can now explore using the tools of science. And we can show with mathematical, this is my goal right now. This is what I'm working on right now. This is my current research. I want to get a completely precise mathematical mapping from the dynamics of conscious agents into space-time where I can predict precisely from properties of the dynamics of conscious agents scattering amplitudes of collision processes in the Large Hadron Collider. If I can do that, I've got a clean mathematical mapping. Once we do that, and I'm working, I'm, I'm studying, I mean, you know, how am I doing that? I, there's some brilliant work by Nima Arkani Hamed and his collaborators um, going beyond space-time using things called the amplitudehedron, associahedra, permutahedra, and so forth. <laughs> And I've, I'm seeing ways to tie the asymptotic behavior of conscious agent network dynamics to amplitudehedra, positive Grassmannians, and so forth. If I can pull those threads all the way through, I'll be able to go from the dynamics of conscious agents all the way through amplitudehedra, sociohedra, all the way into the structure of space, time, and particles, and so forth. Once we really get that worked out, then it's like the software engineer, right? Consider someone who's a wizard at playing Grand Theft Auto and what they can do within the game seems like a miracle versus someone who actually knows the code and can give the wizard a flat tire and take the gas out of their gas tank and twist the roads and change the very parameters of the game itself. The wizard all of a sudden seems not that great compared to someone who can actually change the parameters of the game. That's where we're headed. We, I mean, we're, right now we've become wizards of the game. That's what current science, we're wizards of the game. We're about to change the very parameters of space time itself. That's a showstopper. And it, it raises some serious ethical issues, but I'm proceeding anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that vision is is basically identical to the finale of the Matrix film, I feel like, where where you can uh, change the code itself. Um, and you're, I think you're right to describe that as a Pandora's box.